So, since there's such a problem doing what makes sense, Trump, um, look, Trump has put American companies on notice. Get out of Hong Kong or get out of China. Excuse me. Uh, I think that makes sense. I, I mean, I, I, look, something's brewing, man. Something's brewing. Um, I, you know, th this trade war. No, I think I, uh, I made a little short video about it on, on the blog on YouTube. Look, Trump says he's, oh, I, I'm the chosen one. I get what he meant was it's as if the four presidents before him thought that they couldn't tell China. No, <laughs> anyone could have told China. No. Why did Trump do what everyone else could have done, but chose not to? Oh, I don't know. What's that mean? Am I the chosen one? What a ridiculous thing. If you think what someone thinks, of course not you. You're asking me what I think. Here's what you can say. If anyone thinks that it was ridiculous for Trump to be sarcastic and say, I guess I'm the chosen one. That means it's ridiculous that the four presidents before him thought that Trump's the chosen one because they couldn't do it. They could have done it, but they thought they couldn't. It's not Trump who really believes he's the chosen one. It was the two Democrats and two Republican presidents before him who thought that Trump was the chosen one because they couldn't tell China no. Try that on for size. I, so I, uh, no, I, I made some comments about it at the times, but look, if you're going to be a mover and a shaker, I, I tell you, you know, Trump said American companies, I'm ordering hereby ordering. I, uh, I don't know. Can your commander in chief give you an order? I, you know, whatever that means. Does, does the, can the mom order the dad? Um, you know, I, can the dad order the mom? <laughs> you know, see how your eggs turn out. You know, ordering eggs at a restaurant versus ordering eggs from the mom are two different things. You order eggs from mom, they might not be very good uh, on purpose. But, you know, Trump's trying to tell companies to get out of China because he knows that war is brewing. China wants to take everyone and haul them off to re-education camps. China, the Chinese communists go to bed at night and have trouble sleeping because they're thinking about something. And when they wake up, they immediately start thinking about the same thing. And the thing they're always thinking about is how do we get the Chinese want to know how they can get money from America so that they can invade America and set up education camps and brainwash Americans. And they stay awake at night, all of them thinking about how they can invade America and take you out of your home and put you in a building and you're not allowed to go see anybody until you speak only Mandarin, you forget English, you, the only God you pray to literally is Xi Jinping. I mean, I mean this for real. And if you don't fully cooperate, they'll take you to a hospital, put you to sleep and cut, chop up your organs and sell them to people who they think deserve it. Probably Mandarin speaking communists. China wants to do that and they wake up in the morning thinking about how they can do that and they go to sleep at night and they lie in bed awake at night thinking about how to do that. And they're taking our money that we spend at Walmart and, on, and, 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 and wherever else for stuff made in China and they want to use our money to do that. And Trump knows it has to stop. And he's trying to tell American companies to get out because when Trump finally presses the button and makes China stop this agenda and gets rid of the bad people in China who want to do this evil thing, Trump knows that as soon as he starts it, it's going to be war. And if your company's still inside China, then your company's going to have major, major problems. And so Trump doesn't want your company to have major, major problems. So he's trying to tell people to get out. Goodness, what's so bad about that? So we're on Twitter and he tries to tell people, you know, get out. And what do they do? What do they do on Twitter? What's their response? What do they say on Twitter? They show pictures of the Trump merch that was made in China. Okay. 
This is where we get to the grand difference between a constitutional conservative and a social liberal. I don't mean a public funding liberal I, who, who want to spend government money responsibly. Lots of it. How do we spend? Their question is, how do you spend money responsibly? I'm not talking about those liberals. I'm talking about the SJWs. I'm talking about the anchors on, 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 on the, the drive-by media. The difference here is that the constitutional conservatives know that you'll only be better at your musical instrument if you practice. You'll only be good at your job if you do it for a long time. You'll only know something if you, you take time to learn and practice and do. And you'll only build a house if you take time to build it. It won't build itself. The Nazis were not going to defeat themselves. Americans had to go over there and die for the Nazis to be defeated. And constitutional conservatives in America understand that because the Constitution is what causes the government to not throw all of us into prison and make us all slaves. Why doesn't the government make everybody a slave? Because of the Constitution. It doesn't happen by itself. Liberty doesn't happen by itself. The Constitution preserves it. We have to preserve the Constitution. Constitutional conservatives think this way. Social liberals, not, not public funding liberals, social liberals believe that problems fix themselves and that what we do doesn't matter. They believe, in fact, they never really thought about it. So they, they don't really believe it. They just assume it, which is the most they get to believing anything. So they assume believe that the, the, the Nazis were going to just defeat themselves anyway, and that those Americans who died just wasted everything. They should have stayed home and played video games or invented video games. It was the 40s. Maybe they don't know the difference. And, and they think that uh, the Constitution is silly because it, it, it keeps the government from giving us money, which the government's always going to have, and, and that we don't need to protect freedom. It, it'll just protect itself. And that you don't need to build a house. It'll build itself. That guy taking time to build it, every, he's wasting his time. Houses build themselves, you know. If you don't build it, someone else will, you know, someone always does, you know, and that you don't practicing your musical instrument, that shouldn't make you better than anybody else. Being a man doesn't mean your body's more, able, more able to, to run and do athletics than a woman's body. No, 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 no. So you can be a man today and a woman tomorrow. And that's not unfair because what you do doesn't make a difference. It's just about how you feel. And so from that social liberal perspective, Think about the anti-Trump made in China tweets. Trump knows our country, all of us, have committed the sin of making China so big that they are in a position to ship us all off to brainwashing camps or to invade and destroy our ever weakening government and put the brainwashing camps in America and make us learn Chinese like Mandarin inside America. Trump knows that we've all committed the sin of giving China enough money to do that, where they stand a prayer of doing it. And Trump wants us all to knock it off. Now, the social liberals are going to come along and they say, oh, hypocrite, you want us to get out of China? Well, you made stuff in China many years ago. And so you wanting us to not make stuff in China tomorrow because you made stuff there years ago makes you a hypocrite. Okay. Let's say that, that I don't agree, but let's, you know, I mean, he made it in the past. Trump wants to talk about not doing China in the future. I don't see the hypocrisy there, but let's say that that's hypocrisy. Okay. So what? So what? What's the point? Okay. Trump's a hypocrite. He made stuff in China, just like everybody else bought stuff in China. And so he's a hypocrite for saying we should stop this. This is bad. We should stop. What's the point? Do they, does that mean that uh, we should keep making stuff in China? Trump's saying we should not make stuff in China. So they're saying that we should continue. Why are they pointing out Trump's hypocrisy? What's the point? Did, did, did they want us to keep giving China money? Trump should resign and we should get another pro-China. Let's make everything in China. Let's let China become super big and invade president instead of Trump. 
We, we, we want Bush or Obama or Clinton or Bush back to let China get bigger and bigger and attack us while our military gets small? Is, is that what they want? What's the point in saying, well, Trump had stuff made in China before, therefore trying to not make stuff in China later on in the future is a hypocrisy. See, when you're a constitutional conservative, you believe that action causes things and that we can repent and become better tomorrow than we were yesterday. But when you're a social justice liberal, a social, not social justice, when you're a social, that's different. When you're a social liberal, not a public funding liberal, a social liberal who believes that practice isn't necessary for good performance, who believes that it'll always get done even if nobody does it. Well, we don't do things in order to make a difference if we're that. So what, what we do with China isn't going to change anything. Making stuff in China, if your factory stays in China and there's a war, it won't change anything. If your factory gets bombed, that won't change anything. If you're in China and get shot at, it won't matter because what we do doesn't make a difference. Warning people to get out of China before a, a looming war isn't going to make a difference. When you're a social liberal, the only reason we say or do anything is just to make other people look bad or to make ourselves look good. The only reason you say anything about we should stop doing this and do something else instead, or that's not a good idea, this is a good idea, stop doing that, start doing this. The only reason you say that kind of stuff, if you're a social liberal, is to make other people look bad. And so they think that Trump says we should no longer make stuff in China as we have been before. He's only saying that to make other people look bad. He's not doing it to solve any real problem. And that's where we are now. As of Tuesday this past week, Hong Kong has been experiencing continuous protests for 80 days. So today would be 81. Uh, yeah, this is a record. As of Tuesday, Hong Kong passed the mark where it's, uh, yeah, it's gone too long. Th this is gonna, this is gonna make a difference. Um, China's gonna get extra edgy. Uh, protests are going to be more inclined to get violent because, I mean, look, the government has to listen to its people. I mean, it was from Monty Python. True leadership is derived from a mandate from the masses. And the people have spoken and the government isn't listening. And see, this is where the Chinese have that thinking of the social liberals. The, they don't believe that they have to listen. They don't believe they have to do something. Say what you do. In Chinese, they say, suo dao, suo dao. You say it, you do it. It literally means say, finish, do finish. And, and it's, um, or dao. Dao is also the word for arrive. Dao la, arrived. So, yeah, suo dao, suo dao. Say it, do it. And China, the Again, they don't understand that what you do matters. Our education system affects our ability to innovate. China doesn't believe that. They just believe that follow their culture. China doesn't believe America has more money because of our decisions. They believe we have more money because there's some hidden vibra vibranium meteor that fell out of the sky and that, that that's what we've been getting. That there's some secret to our success in America that China doesn't have access to. No, China has the same access to success as America. It's called choice. You choose to do things in a way that's effective, it'll work. Unfortunately, our choice was less government, which is reined in and controlled by a constitution. China wants government to be bigger. And so China's unwilling to make the choice that'll make a country prosperous. But they, so, so they convince themselves that it's not their action that caused their results, that results have been bestowed by heaven and that China deserves it. And if America has what China deserves, then it's only right for China to up and steal it from us. They really believe this and teach it that way using those words. 
like this is it, this is not some extrapolation. I've been there. I've talked to them. It's amazing. It's scary. So we are in a crisis where we have to look at how our actions lead to our results. That's where we are. See you tomorrow.